Hi, I'm Heather Legg, and I'm a certified executive coach and founder of Envision Success, Inc. And, um, yeah, let's talk about focus today. <laughs> focus, popular topic. Do you ever feel like you have a good plan for getting some work done, and then you get distracted, <laughs> and then a few hours later at the end of the day or at the end of the week, you're frustrated because, well, you just didn't get it done. Yeah, I see this a lot with clients, and uh, I'm not going to lie, sometimes to myself. Uh, do you feel like this more often than you'd like to admit? If so, you're not alone. <laughs> I recently interviewed over 100 women running business, so owners, executive directors, presidents, CEOs, founders, co-owners, co-founders, a lot of women running business, and um, I asked them, in order to accelerate your success in business, what two skills would you master? And one of the answers that popped up again and again, oh, one of the most common recurring themes was focus. So depending on the woman and the day, of course, this, this tended to mean um, kind of two central definitions for focus. So one is clarity of what to work on and when, and two, doing consistently while not being distracted. So I th <laughs> think any modern working person can relate to, to both of those definitions of focus and wanting to master focus more consistently. And I wasn't surprised that focus topped the list for this reason. Um, because almost every client over the, the past 10 years of my coaching practice, this has risen to the top again and again and again. So working with leaders at all levels, we definitely talk about focus in their varying coaching engagements. Um, for this reason, for many years, I've made it a core area of my coaching practice to help clients get better results, to get the results that they are seeking. So focus, again, how? How to master the art of focus. So let me share with you some of the comments that the women I interviewed, the women leaders, um, they said things like, I'm like a cat when you shine a laser all over the room. It's a struggle to stay on point. Can you relate? Do you feel like that? <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy sometimes. I distract myself. Focusing more on where to take the business and get much more focused in terms of what I put my energy to, I tend to get spread too thinly and that I'm not fully present. So there's an element of that presence of mind um, and, and being in alignment with something bigger the, the top priorities. In the course of a day, I'm highly distracted. I never do one thing at a time. Can you relate to that? I have my eggs in so many baskets. So these are just a handful of the many comments regarding the struggles with staying focused throughout the workday and staying authentic to the mission. Ah, it's nice to know you're not alone, isn't it? <laughs> um... It's a challenge for most every working professional, like I said, to in our modern working world. So, okay, how how do you master the art of focus at work? What works for you? I want to hear your comments um, in in the blog, on social media, as this video gets posted out. I really want to hear what you like, how you overcome this challenge. But for now, I'm going to share. Uh, a couple of things that work really well with clients have worked well over the years for many, many, many clients and uh, for myself as well. So uh, these are, what you want to do is start with small, simple solutions that you can implement right away and you can see results immediately and start to build some momentum. So we all know that it's difficult to make big symbolic changes and not to see the results like that is just that just adds to the frustration and we have so many ingrained working routines and habits and mindsets that 
<laughs> distract us away from the focus that, that we want. So here's what I'm going to suggest that you do. There are two of the many I've seen work well for clients. One, you have to know what it is that you're prioritizing. What is your top priority? So that you can ask this question, what is the best use of my time and energy right now? So that's technique number one. What is the best use of my time and energy right now? But you have to know what your top priority is. So if you haven't done the work of getting really super clear on your purpose and your mission and your goals, then you're going to continue to feel scattered and have anxiety and not have a simple answer to that question. What is the best use of my time and energy right now? So that works really well, right? It's almost too simple. You don't even want to take it seriously, but I encourage you to try it. The second thing is to establish a routine where you allow yourself short bursts of focused time on quality work. So what's an example? Uh, my favorite is to set a timer for 20 minutes. If you've been following me, if you've seen some of my content, my blogs, you've seen this all over the place. Set a timer for 20 minutes because it, it allows you, basically you're giving yourself permission to put the other stuff on hold. It's a temporary, no and not right now, allows you to focus on the task at hand. So you to be fully effective, uh, you wanna do the highest quality work you can muster <laughs> to be, uh, while racing the clock. Basically that's how it works. You want to do the highest quality work you can muster while racing the clock. If you're not sure how long, just set the timer for 20 minutes and try that. So then you're just going to repeat those two steps. You're going to ask yourself, what is the best use of my time and energy right now? And for 20 minutes or somewhere in that neighborhood, you're going to bust it and stay focused on one thing and get that quality work toward that top priority thing. And that you're going to repeat those two steps until you get the results. Now there are of course many other techniques that you can sprinkle in and add to your repertoire of um, ways to master the art of focus and you can find many more of my blogs, videos, download worksheets and the best place to start is heatherlife.com. Enjoy these two steps. Again, repeat until you get the results you want. Enjoy.